Hey y'all. Today I am going to cook a chicken and broccoli stuffed spaghetti squash. And this is a really good recipe. And I've already baked my squash. I'm going to let you see it. You know, it comes like this. So I cut it in half. And to make that happen a lot easier, I put the whole squash, I poked some holes in it with a knife put it in the microwave for five minutes, and then when it came out, it was hot, but it cuts really easy. So after I did that, I cut it in half, and I took all the seeds out, and I see a couple in there I missed. <laughs> so anyway, you take all the seeds out, and here's what it looks like after it comes out of the oven. You bake it on, um, 400 for about 50 minutes and it is really good and it smells so so good so after that it takes uh, three tablespoons of olive oil a little bit of spray for your skillet to cook your chicken in it takes two large chicken breasts and here are the chicken breasts and what you do is you just cut them in bite-sized pieces. And actually, I didn't use two big ones. I just used two average-sized chicken breasts, as you can see. Went ahead and cut those up in bite-sized pieces. Uh, it's gonna take two shallots. Well, I've never used shallots before, so this is new to me. So here are the shallots. I got them at Walmart up near the garlic. And they look like this. They look like just a small onion. So anyway, close those back. It also takes six cloves of garlic, and I have those right here. This is the garlic. I love garlic. I love garlic on just about everything. <laughs> it takes a teaspoon of salt, one half teaspoon of black pepper. It takes two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. It takes three cups of broccoli florets, and I've already cut mine up and got them in my measuring bowl. It takes four tablespoons of cream cheese, and I got the kind here because I think it, I just like it. It spreads so easy and goes in your measuring spoons really easy. It also takes a half a cup of plain yogurt and I just got the, the Walmart brand Greek yogurt. It tastes, you know, really good in um, certain recipes. Uh, it takes a half a cup of Parmesan cheese and I got the Francesca Parmesan, Asagio, and Romano, but you can use any Parmesan cheese you want to. And then it takes one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. So what you're gonna do is preheat your oven, which I'm not gonna do, because I've already cooked mine, like I said. Stick your whole spaghetti squash in the microwave, poke holes in it, five minutes, get it out. Be careful, because it's hot, cut it in half, rake those seeds out. You're gonna get a little bit of stringy stuff too. Um, and, but, oh, before that, you saw, you put some olive oil on the top and bottom before you put it in the oven. So after you cut it in half like this, you're going to have two pieces. You put olive oil all over it. You salt and pepper it and put a little garlic powder on it. Yes, I forgot that. Let me set that out. I did use that on mine, but I forgot to tell you that part. So you put just a little bit of garlic powder on it with the salt and pepper. Uh, then you lay it open side down on a cookie sheet that you cover with parchment paper. That works the best. Put it on parchment paper. And then turn it on 400, let it bake for about 45 to 50 minutes. And if you have a really big spaghetti squash, let it cook up to an hour just until it's good and tender. Then when you take it out, it looks like this and it is just so good look how good that looks and it smells heavenly okay so then you're going to take your chicken 
and add a tablespoon of olive oil. Well, I'm gonna spray mine first. I like to use spray, and then I use a little bit of olive oil too. So I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil here, and I'm going to cook my chicken pieces in it until it's done. It usually takes about five to six minutes, and when that's done, you put it on a plate before you go to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off cook this chicken and I'll be back. See you in a minute. Okay, the chicken is ready to come off the stove. You can see I just fried it right up in bite-sized pieces. I'm gonna just put it on a paper plate, get it out of my way, set it to the side. And then you're gonna take about, I guess a teaspoon of olive oil Put in your skillet, and we're just going to dice up these shallots. Now, I didn't even know what a shallot was, believe it or not, um, for a long time. And I learned they're just like onions. So I've already peeled these. I'm gonna set this off just a minute so it doesn't get too hot. But I just peeled them just like you do an onion. It's got onion skin on it. To me, these are just like little petite onions. That's exactly what they are, I think. <laughs> so anyway, you wanna do them in really small pieces. They smell really good too. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put shallots in it. You can leave this step out. But we do like onion, so I'm going to use it. So what are y'all having for supper today? Put me some ideas in, in the comments so I know what you're having. I like to know other dishes that people cook and get some ideas myself. Just about got it. Woo! These things are actually, to be so little, they're actually quite hot smelling. <laughs> Burning my eyes, making my eyes water. All righty, I'm almost finished. I got one of my dogs running around here in the kitchen. He thinks that if, if I drop something, he's gonna get it real quick, so. He's my little kitchen buddy. So if you hear those little toenails clicking on the floor, you know that's him. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put the skillet back on so it can be warming up a little. And then I'm gonna put my shallots in there. All right, I've got a neat little scoop here I'm gonna use. This little thing is awesome. You can just cut stuff up and scoop it on this thing and just put it right in your skillet. It's great. That is one of my favorite kitchen tools and I use it just about every time I cook. So if you don't have one, you should get one. They're great. All right, so we're gonna let the shallots, it, it'll take them one, one or two minutes to saute. Oh wow, they really smell good. And after they do that, we're gonna add our garlic now this is one of my favorite gadgets too. This is a garlic press. And I've had this one for years and years. This one is a Pampered Chef garlic press. I got it when my mother-in-law was <clears throat> living and sold Pampered Chef. So I've had this for a long time. You just put it in there, squeeze it out. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Bed Bath, Bath & Beyond, I'm sure. I think I saw my daughter got one for her wedding shower, so I know you can get them. So you just put your pieces in there and close it up and it presses it right out. It's great. And I love garlic on just about anything. I'm telling you, that's one of my favorite things to put on food is garlic. I don't like too much of it, but it's what when you get the right 
amount on there. It's really, really good. Okay. I think that ought to do it. So, I'm going to give these a little stir here. Oh, yeah. These are just about perfect. Saute. I'll add just a little bit more olive oil. And then I am going to add my garlic, my salt and pepper that I already have measured out. So there goes the garlic, salt and pepper. and my Italian seasoning. So all of those go in with these shallots. Coat these shallots really good with all that in the mix. Okay, now I'm gonna set it off the stove for a few minutes. That only took about 30 seconds. So now we're gonna add the broccoli and one to two tablespoons of water. So I've got my three cups of broccoli already cut. And here are my, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of water. And then we're gonna put a lid on so our broccoli can steam. And I'm gonna set my timer for two minutes and I'll be right back as soon as the broccoli is ready. Okay, the broccoli is finished. So I am going to take the lid off. And I'm going to spray it with a little cooking spray. And if you need to spray it with cooking spray also before you put the broccoli in, that's good too. I actually did that. So you just wanna add your chicken back in and just get all this stirred up good so it can just marinate together, get the flavor from those shallots and your seasonings in there real good. So when you get all that coated good with all the seasonings and everything, just set it aside. Okay, so in a bowl, we are gonna put the cream cheese, get my spatula. We are gonna put the cream cheese with the Greek yogurt. And we're gonna mix those two real good. I like cream cheese. And I liked Greek yogurt also. And my husband and I have been trying to eat healthier lately. And so recipes like this, they're really, really tasty. And they make you feel like you're doing something really good too. <laughs> I mean, using yogurt, using spaghetti squash. I like both of those. And both of those together with what we're making today is gonna be really great. So after that, we're gonna stir the Parmesan cheese in. That's all I'm doing is getting it all stirred in together. And then we're gonna add half of our mozzarella cheese to this. So there's about half. Get all that stirred in good. So then we're going to put this broccoli and chicken and our spices in here also. So now we're getting to put it all together and it smells really, really good. It looks good. I can't wait to try it. 
This is the first time I've ever made this recipe, but it sounded great and it really is cooking up great also. I think this is gonna be a winner. So just get all of that stirred up, get it all that's melting into the chicken and the broccoli. Let's just give it a minute to all get coated good. Okay, now we are going to, this is very easy to do. We're gonna take a fork and just start scraping out strands of your spaghetti squash. And it just looks like spaghetti when you do this. It's, it's very tasty. I have made a couple of dishes using spaghetti squash. It's really good. And then you're just gonna put those strands. See how that's doing? It's coming right out. We're gonna get those strands mixed in here. You can leave a little bit in, in the shell. You don't have to get it all out, but I'm getting pretty much most of it out. So out of both of these, I'll try to get most of it out. This is not a real quick dish, but it's a really good dish. So if you have a little bit of extra time, this probably takes about, you know, 20 minutes just to do this part, and then it takes 45 minutes to cook the spaghetti squash, so 45 to 50 minutes. Okay. So let me get my pan prepared, and we'll put this together to melt the mozzarella on top of all this. Okay, so I went ahead and I already have one stuffed. So now I'm gonna stuff the second one. I'm just filling it to the brim. This really looks good. I really can't wait to try this. Now I have lost 18 and a half pounds and I have been trying to eat healthier and I've been doing intermittent fasting. So through the week, I am eating from my window, as they call it, that I can eat, is anywhere between 8 and 4 p.m. And then on the weekend, I decided to change my window since my husband's home. And um, I make it from like 12 to 8 or 11 to 7, one or the other. And that works out really good for me. Okay, so now we're just going to top it with the rest of the mozzarella. I have preheated my oven to 350 because this has to go back in covered for 15 minutes. And after that 15 minutes, you take the aluminum foil off the top and you let it bake another five to 10 minutes until the cheese is uh, all melted and gooey. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this on my baking sheet Bring it over here so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm putting that on my baking sheet and I have a piece of aluminum foil and I'm just gonna try to make a little tint so it doesn't just lay flat on the mozzarella cheese. All right, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna put it in the oven. And this will be for 15 minutes. I'll set my timer. And when it's finished, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so my timer's going off and it's ready. Oh my goodness gracious. This will make four meals. It'll make two for my husband and two for me. These are very big. And so if you have a family of three or four, 
Uh, I would think this would be enough for all four of you. It looks so, so good. So I'm going to try a bite. Turn my oven off. Okay, this is a big winner. That is really good. So I hope you guys tried it, and if you like it, put it in the comment that you tried it. Tell me how you like it. If there's anything you'd like me to make, just put that in the comment too. Don't forget to hit like if you liked my program today. Please hit like and hit subscribe for me. And you can share this on your Facebook page with friends if you don't mind. And I'll see you next time, and have a great week. I actually wanted to end with this today. God most definitely wants us to be happy. In Psalm 37, 4, it reads, Take delight in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. And Psalm 126, 2 says, Our mouths were filled with laughter, and our tongues with songs of joy. In fact, God tells us to be happy more times in Scripture than any other command. So everybody just be happy. I hope you have a great rest of your week and be happy. I'll see you next time.